I made to myself in 2024 that's going to fix my entire life, all right? So basically, if you're anything like me, you're probably timid by nature. You're probably like the nice guy, don't really express yourself too much to other people. You stay quiet, you're always trying to learn, stuff like that, right? But that's not actually very good for accomplishing things in life. It's not very good for pursuing your goals and trying to get after it, right? It doesn't get you women. It doesn't get you business. It doesn't get you, you know, followers. It doesn't get you anything if you're just staying to yourself. If you're timid, you're not expressing yourself to other people. And so this is something I've learned from this book right here, The Way of the Superior Man. And it's just that you got to, like, unapologetically be yourself. you got to express yourself to the world as you are and see how it reacts sure you can reform yourself over time but you have to put yourself out there and so I'm trying to work on that in my own life and I think that's going to give me everything that I want in 2024 and the reason I say that is because when I'm being myself I get to embrace my own curiosities I get to be exactly who I want to be and I don't have to worry so much about like everybody's expectations of what I should be and like trying to pretend to be this or trying to pretend to be that and I can just be myself so there's a few ways that I've been like challenging myself to just like be you know to be better to express myself more so I've been like approaching women or whatever there was this girl that I was I thought was cute the other day so I bought a pizza and I brought it to her <laughs> like just to just to fucking like do something new to try and express myself to the world and uh I'm in the dorms now. If you've been watching my videos, you know I moved back to college. Uh, I got five classes left. I'll finish them up. Not what we're talking about, but since I'm in the dorms, you can feel like, you know, there's people all around. You don't want to be too loud. You don't want to do this. You don't want to do that. You can kind of repress yourself, you know, and uh, fall back into that timid nature. And that's what I did before. I was very quiet last time I was in the dorms. I didn't do anything. I didn't, like, ever sing. I didn't make noise. I'm very vocal person as is. I'm pretty loud. I've got a deep voice that goes through walls and I feel weird talking. I feel weird doing whatever. But to challenge myself, I've been playing guitar literally in the dorms. I got like, there's a few ways to play guitar, right? You can finger pick and like you can play with your fingers. It's a little quieter and you like, you know, it's the more timid version, right? But I've been playing Zach Bryan with a pick <laughs> and singing just to challenge myself because I know that I need to not worry so much about what other people are going to think, how other people are going to interpret me. Because when you become comfortable with yourself, that's when you get like real feedback from the world. That's when you actually learn more about yourself and you can like transform into a better version of yourself rather than transforming the version of yourself you're pretending to be. Like I don't want to pretend to be anybody. I want to be myself. I want to do what I want to do. Like I like playing guitar. I like singing. And so like why am I afraid to be loud and to like play that how it's supposed to be played it, it just doesn't make sense but for some reason you know naturally i'm the nice guy i don't want to intrude on anybody's it doesn't matter you got to be yourself at the end of the day you have to do the things that make you happy you have to do the things that make you proud to be who you are you have to embrace your personality right so there's a few different things i've been doing right so i've been uh, approaching random people you know like if, they, if i see somebody walking by i try to make it a point to just say hey or like i'll i'll say you know nice shoes or whatever and like i was moving in the other day i saw somebody in the hallway i was like oh you're a hockey guy huh and he wasn't he just had a, like a full beard he was a really like stocky guy i was like he's definitely a hockey guy i was wrong <laughs> he, he plays uh music and he said he's in the band marching band but i never would have known that and i never would have introduced myself if you know if i didn't just say hi if i didn't say that and uh so now I know Hunter down the hall. <laughs> and I wouldn't have if I didn't just express myself. Like, I just wung it in the moment, said whatever was on my mind. And that's how you do it. I made a plan, you know, the, with the girl, right? I made a plan to bring her the pizza. And, you know, I was thinking to myself, I was like, I, I was like, I could do this. I could plan it this way. I could do this. But I knew that in the moment, none of that would work out. That some random thing would happen in like, like whatever I planned would just like go out the window because I wouldn't I would have to react in the situation and in those situations you need to be yourself that's the only thing you can do is express yourself and so all the things that you consume and all the things that you do uh, the person that you are bleeds through and people can read that no matter who you try to pretend to be or whatever you try to you know put on as a facade they'll just read through it eventually anyway and they'll realize that you know they'll realize the person behind the mask. And so 
I went up there and I just like, I was like, I'm just gonna wing it. And I showed up and I had the first line. I was like, here, I got you a pizza. That's all I wanted to say. And uh, I said that and just as expected, nothing that I planned for <laughs> happened. So it was, it was crazy, uh, but it was good. You know, it was a good reaction and people actually respond pretty well. If you just like put yourself out there, it just works out a lot better. Um, and you get honest feedback rather than somebody like, I don't know, pretending to be nice to you when you're pretending to be nice to them. Like just go out there and like be, you know? Um, so another one, I went to uh, Muay Thai practice again. I used to go to the same gym and so I was like, uh, I was excited to see these people and whatever and there was like all new faces. So I tried to make it a point to talk to everybody that I could at the practice, every single person. So I, I got like probably five to 10 new names <laughs> that I know. And like that never would have happened if I didn't make it a point to like put myself out there, express myself and meet as many people as possible. And so why does all this matter? What does this like do for me exactly? Well, um, expressing myself should fix everything in my life. That's the whole point of this video, right? Um, it should help me meet women that would actually like me, not just like some false version of myself that I put out there. So it'll help me meet women, which is kind of like a goal for 2024. I was, I put that on the sidetrack for a while, but like, I'd like to meet women now. Um, number two, business. I want to like express myself and my actual offers, my business, uh, to other people and I want to make money in 2024. I want to actually make some cash online in 2024. To do that, I have to express myself online. I have to make videos. I have to like post content. I have to do things like that, you know? I have to do my outreach messages. And uh, let me tell you, there is no better way to do outreach than just expressing yourself because like I used to do these scripts, right? I used to take all these scripts that everybody's saying online and like I would never get responses. And then I just started like actually messaging people that I genuinely vibed with, that I like actually liked their content or I agreed with something they were saying. And I actually started like a genuine conversation, just expressing myself, my opinion of their content or whatever. And I got so many more replies. Literally it was like, it went from 0% hit rate to like 20% hit rate on my DMs, maybe 40 even, because like I only send a few DMs a day to people that I actually vibe with. And those people actually respond because it's a genuine connection. People don't want to connect with some like robot, right? They want to connect with a real person. And so I'm just trying to be myself this 2024 and I'm hoping that it will get me everything that I want. Uh, specifically, money and women are my focuses. I've already got some decent friends, although some business connections and like friends that are actually pursuing the things I'm pursuing would be another thing that I would really like to do in 2024. So um, that's my commitment this 2024, to try and like just get everything you know, in line. I'm gonna fix my life. So I'm curious what your goals this 2024 are, what your commitments are. I know this is probably like the 10th video you've seen <laughs> under like New Year's resolutions or whatever, but um, that's just what I've got going on. So I thought I'd put a video out and I appreciate you watching. Please like uh, and watch some of my other videos if you like this. So uh, thanks for watching, peace.